This episode is a real hot potato. Yikes! <laughs> I like the chip variety, but, uh, mmm, french fries? <sighs> Delish! This is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for Chips. It's a guaranteed market. Everybody likes potato chips. Oh, that's all very well, sir. But the bottom line is sales. How well are these chips selling? Sneer. They're selling like hot potatoes. <laughs> in that case, I am interested in buying your factory. I'll drop by on Tuesday at noon to close the deal. Cause... I want to see those sales figures. Great! See you then. But, boss, sales figures for Sneer Snacks are way down. Lux won't buy the company if he sees those figures. He won't, because you're going to get them up. My chips have no nutrient value, lots of additives, and I've started a whole new line of my favorite flavors. They should be best sellers. Mm. Some of the flavors aren't all that uh, <laughs> popular, boss. Nonsense! This one, for instance. Try it! Turnip and sardine flavor. <laughs> it's great! <laughs> See what I mean? Great stuff! But I'm still losing a fortune. I've got to unload this company. Get those sales figures up! 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 How about a contest? With a grand prize giveaway! Giveaway? Never use that word around me. Uh, sorry, boss. But we have to have some sort of prize. Um, how about a bike? Every kid loves a bike. Sales are sure to go up. Mm. A contest? Yes. A, a contest. And to make sure chip sales keep going up, we'll make it a contest no one can win. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like an ice-cold bottle of peanut butter soda after a hot bike ride, huh, Ralph? Hmm. Hi, Mr. Willow. Yeah, hi, Mr. Willow. Howdy, boys. One bottle of lemonade and a peanut butter soda, please. Wow! A blue phantom. Chewy chips, huh? The silent snack. Grand prize giveaway? That's for me! Put the puzzle pieces together, complete the picture of the blue phantom, and win, win, win! Wow! A blue phantom! <laughs> uh, I think I'll have chips instead, Ralph. Bert, how can you eat chips when you're thirsty? I want to win the prize. Uh, here you go, Mr. Willow. Thanks, Bert. One piece down, nine to go. <laughs> oh, better get another bag. Bert, why are you buying these? You only get five chips in every bag. And if Cyril's running this contest, just what do you figure your chances are of actually winning? The same chances as everybody else, Ralph. If you don't play, you can't win. Here. <laughs> what is this flavor? Uh, oh, fried egg and broccoli. Ugh, they don't even crunch, Bert. Yeah, you're right, but uh, what do you want? Good taste or a prize? I'll 
I'll take another bag, Mr. Willow. Oh, come on, Bert. You've had two bags. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Ralph. See you, Mr. Willow. Come again. We've got one of these displays in every store everywhere. We've got radio and TV spots every hour on the hour. Oh, sales are definitely up. See? That's not good enough. I want billboards. I want ads on the sides of buses. I want junk mail on every doorstep. Get those sales figures up by Tuesday. I want to unload those chips on Knox. Yes, yes sir. sir. I want both of you to know that this is my favorite thing, ironing. On a sunny afternoon, yes, I don't want to go fishing or bike riding. <laughs> no, just let me iron. It's got to be done, Bert. Huh? Huh? Eat, snare, chewy chips, and win the blue phantom? Huh, the blue phantom? Bert! Oh. Bert! Your shirt! What? Bert! Well, I guess that's it. Uh, I've had it for today. Uh, I gotta get some uh, fresh air. Yeah, uh, I'm going for a ride. Well, it is a nice day. Ralph and I'll come with you. Oh, no, no, uh, you don't have to. Uh, suddenly, uh, I feel kind of hungry. Uh, I think I need a snack. Well, we could head back and I'll make you a great salad. Uh, uh, uh no. Uh, I was thinking of something a bit more, uh, exotic. Uh, uh, but how about a bag of chips? You call chips exotic, Bert? Yeah, if it's sour cream and liver flavor. Uh, say, Ralph, you got 50 cents? Thanks. See you at the store. Ah, ugh, he must really want to win that prize. I hope it's worth it. It couldn't be. Sour cream and liver, yuck! Sales are way up, boss. Yeah? And how much is all this advertising costing me? Well, you can't look at it that way, boss. I always look at it that way. But, boss, the contest is working. The sales figures will be sky high by the time Knox sees them. As long as nobody wins the prize. <laughs> oh, they won't win. And they just keep buying and buying, hoping to find the last piece of the picture of the blue phantom. <laughs> and there's only one piece that can complete the puzzle. And we've got it. Right here, boss. <laughs> Brilliant! You pigs are finally learning something from me. Lock that piece in the vault. <laughs> I just need one more piece, but it's not here, bro. It's not fair. Yuck. Ralph's right. They don't crunch. Ugh. Good night, bro. I 
just gotta get some money somehow. I'm worried about Bert. He's obsessed with potato chips and winning that bike. It can't be as bad as all that, Melissa. Like some toast, Bert? No, uh, I'm not hungry. Bert, we were thinking of going on a picnic today. Do you want to come? Nah. Uh, thanks, Melissa. But uh, I've got things to do. Uh, important things. <sighs> Look at this. My bronze baby booties. My Captain California skateboard. My complete collection of baseball cards. My first guitar. Huh. This should be worth a few bucks. Hi, Bert. What are you doing? Huh? Oh, hi, Cedric. A yard sale is what I'm doing. You can't sell this, Bert. It's all your good stuff. Nah, it's just junk. I've outgrown it all. Look at this baseball card, Cedric. Mickey Mantle piece. A collector's item. Y you want to buy it? Gee, Bert, I uh, don't really think... Uh... No? Well, uh, uh, how about this uh, baseball glove? I only used it to play catch. It's a good deal. Uh, two bucks, okay? Okay, if you're sure, Bert. I'm sure, I'm sure. Uh, you drive a hard bargain, Cedric. Uh, listen, uh, sell the rest of the stuff for me, okay? Uh, I gotta go uh, somewhere. But, but where are you... But, but... Uh, see you, Bert. Hi, Cedric. What are you doing with all of Bert's stuff? Um, uh, he asked me to sell it. Then he rode off. Towards Mr. Willow's store? I guess. He had two dollars. Oh, no. He's gone to buy more chips. Bert's fixation with winning that contest is getting out of hand. Hmm. What are we going to do? You were supposed to put that in the vault! Yeah, I know, but I, uh, forgot the combination. <laughs> Was it 4, 12, 4, or the other way around? Well, never mind that now! We don't have time! Just put it someplace safe! And don't let the boss know! Now get to work! Missing piece of the puzzle, Bert? Nah, I didn't. 
Hey, who told you? Melissa and Ralph are a bit worried about the way you're letting this contest get to you. It isn't getting to me, Cedric. And I wish they'd mind their own business. Hey, you sold all my stuff. <laughs> Good. How much did you make, Cedric? Five bucks! Quit kidding around, Cedric. Where's the rest of the money? That's it, Bert. Five bucks! You sold all my good stuff for five measly bucks? <laughs> I trusted you, Cedric. How could you sell my flugelhorn, my comic books, my woodchuck berry guitar pick, my guitar? All for five dollars! But, Bert... Thanks, Cedric. Thanks a lot. You're some friend. Well... I guess this is my last chance at the Blue Phantom. Oh, every guy's dream. But, Bert, your chances of finding the last piece are astronomical. That's the difference between you and me, Cedric. <laughs> I'm willing to take the chance. My destiny awaits. Oh, hi, gang. He wasn't happy, but he took the five dollars anyway. This is serious. Surely you're not buying more chips. Yeah, I am, Mr. Willow, and please, don't you lecture me, too. I know what I'm doing. My last chance, and no money left. Ralph! Melissa! Oh, oh, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, uh, you got 50 cents? Bert! You're letting this contest take over your life. Look what's happening to you. Ralphie, there's one bag left. If the winning piece isn't there, I'll stop. I promise you. 50 cents, Ralph. Melissa, please. You, you'll think differently when I'm the winner of the Blue Phantom. The most fabulous prize there is. Please, a quarter each. Please, please. Okay, Bert. But that bag is the last one, you promise? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold it! That's our bag! Huh? Oh, no, you don't! Get him, boys! Birds! Stop it! Stop it right now, before somebody gets hurt! We got it! We got it! For now. He's probably out riding on his new blue phantom, Melissa. I imagine he won't be back for a while. Hi, guys. Um, uh, listen, there's something I'd like to say. I sold everything I had, wasted my time and money. But what's worse, I insulted my friends, and I ignored their good advice. 
winning that way just isn't worth the price. But anyway, uh, I got a little something for you, Ralph and Melissa. Oh, Bern, it's beautiful. But how could you afford it? Ah, I sold the Blue Phantom. I paid Mr. Willow for the damage to his store, too. And, uh, well, I got you this. Oh, thanks, Bert. And we've got a little something for you, too. Hey! My stuff! <laughs> it's all here! My, my snowshoes! My pogo stick! Oh, my wind-up teeth! My guitar! Especially my guitar. We couldn't let you throw away all the things you love, Bert. Gee, thanks, guys. But if I'd never gotten any of this stuff back, I'd still have you. Oh, hey, guess what? I still got 50 cents left. Enough to buy a bag of chips. Bert! Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> all right. Give me the bad news. How much did the ad campaign cost me? I can take it. Okay, pup. $473,292.33. I can't take it! Knox backs out of the sale, and I'm stuck with a warehouse full of potato chips. Those pigs had better come up with a way to get rid of those <sighs> chips, or I'll turn them into chops. About time! What's for dinner? Tuna and potato chip casserole! Escallop cinnamon and lima bean potato chips! And imitation bacon potato chip and marshmallow pie. I feel sick! Boy, I wanted that blue phantom bike so bad, I could taste it. I still taste those disgusting chips that Cyril made. Oh, boy. <laughs>